Shout out to Go- Chosen One of Bionicle and the Kenoni of Comedy. I hope you're listening from CyberCan. Welcome to another TTV Comic Maker interview. Today we have a very, very special guest with us, and um, I don't know how many of you will remember him. With us here is Cyber KN. Hi, that's me. You sound and very enthusiastic. And with us uh, is Alina, Masanak, and Kini. Hi, my gospel. How so, you be, everyone? Everyone here sounds <laughs> very enthusiastic. I'm sorry, it's a Friday, and it's the 13th, no less. This is oh, I'm sorry. A... I see you weren't up at about 7 and ran for two hours. Actually, yep. I was, Elena. Oh, oh, well, anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> let's, dive, let's dive right into the question. So, um, Cyber Ken, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. How, how'd you get into Bionicle and... Uh, Subsequently, BZ Power. Um, let's see. I don't know. I, I ran across Bionicle in 2001. Um, I've been sort of following Lego up until that, like before that point with the, the precursors they had with Throwbots and uh, Robo Riders. I don't know if you guys remember that. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Bionicle was like sort of this, this just this latest iteration of these uh, like Lego Technic. I don't know this like, this series of sets that they're doing that they're sort of experimenting with. I think. And what made this different was like there's this really deep fiction which I just immediately grabbed onto, which I thought was just like what it what it did that so many so many other toys didn't do was it, it didn't treat you like it didn't treat you like you were a kid it just treated you like you were like, like you know like you're intelligent and it's just like I know as a, as a young guy, I just found that really appealing for some reason and. So I, I started looking online, like I started, I got, I got a couple of the, uh, the sets, and I started looking online. And I discovered BZ Power through um, the rise and fall of the Toa, which I'm sure you're all aware of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. That, 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 that was the, I found that, and subsequently BZ Power. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how much detail you want me to get into this, but uh, that's uh, sort of where I got my start. All right, excellent. Now you joined back in two thousand four. Uh, yeah. When you did, what was the first thing you wanted to do? Uh, I, I think I created the account just to post uh, Mask of Humor, which at that point <laughs> I just, which I I'd, I'd, I'd made like twenty four just like test comics and just like showing to my friends and stuff and like, I don't know. <laughs> it, it was it was a bit it was kind of weird like. Those ones aren't very funny at all. I think when I look back on them, they're just sort of these things that I, I, I made and my naive attempts to look cool on the internet or not on the internet. I don't know. All right. I really don't know. I mean, I, I mean, they're really. I can, you can really see a difference in quality between the the, the newer ones and the older ones. Mhm. Yeah. Speaking in the qual. Speaking of the quality. Where did you get the inspiration to make the comics like you did? Because they sort of remind people a lot of uh, Rise and Fall of the Toa. And, um... Well, they should, because I directly ripped off like half his jokes. <laughs> 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 no, no, seriously. Um, if, 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 uh, he, it, he, he, he called me, I think when you contacted me for this interview, you, you called me legendary, and I thought, no, I, if I am legendary, then like the Chili God is mythic, because that, <laughs> that guy, that guy knew how to make comics and frankly the fact that he's not being interviewed here is kind of a shame oh don't worry i'm i've i talked to him once via messenger and i'm gonna try and get him next oh it, it's a future goal and i'll try and get god to act with him we used to converse a lot but i, I haven't talked to him in a long time Mm-hmm. yeah like, like he obviously did the the flash uh, movies and stuff which are astounding in, in terms of like quality like when, like being as young as I was, then seeing like something that cool that I'd sort of like written the script for it, come out of it was just you know fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was actually my next question, or something similar. 
what was what was the kind of working comic maker relationship between you and the Chile God? Because it seemed with certain things you guys worked very closely together. Like what? Like what exactly? Like, uh, what, like what examples? Animation, and I think you guys kind of traded posts back and forth in comics, and it seemed like you guys kind of like a the duo of Rag yeah. 2001 comics. Uh. I guess maybe maybe I'm not remembering it right, but I remember there being also a lot more uh, reg story comics besides us. I, I thought I was like sort of this minor thing. I don't know. Maybe 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 I was wrong. But. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, in terms of like the animation stuff, uh, like the first the first uh, like animation that he did for Mask of Humor was just sort of this. Like I, I just contacted him and asked him like, hey, I want to I want to wrap up this the uh, the first year of Bionicle as it were. And I really don't know what to do for it. Could you, mm-hmm. like, could could you like help me with that? And so basically, the entire, almost, almost the entire, I just gave him like a rough outline of what I wanted to happen, and he sort of did the, like pretty much everything in that, uh, in, in that thing. Like he wrote, he wrote pretty much all like all the script himself and all that. And you know, he's incredibly generous, which really, which is, which is cool. And and yeah, and that, in the subsequent movies, like I, I wrote up with, like the full script and like detailed scenes of what I wanted to see. And he sort of did that. Um, I don't remember ever actually contributing to uh, the rise and fall of the Toa. Like maybe I, I might have like you know, like slipped him some jokes or whatever, but I, I don't really remember anything specific. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, a lot of your uh, jokes were definitely derived from the Chili Gods comic. Well, yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Specifically, like Tahu's intelligence or lack thereof, and his super. What was it called? The Super Chili. The Super Chili of Doom. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. That um, is just straight. It's yeah, just straight. Like, like I said, they're just ripoffs. Yeah. What What was the Chili God's reaction to that? Um, I think I think he commented that on the first page of the of, of the, uh, uh, the 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 uh, thing. He said, he said, "Well, you know, it's obviously like there's some original humor here, but I recognize that I inspired a lot of it." I'm like. He was really cool with it. Like, like I imagine, I can, like he could have just come up with it and like said, "Hey, you know, like why, why are you just ripping off all my stuff?" But he, he was really, he was really nice about that sort of thing. And so, like, I guess, and, and subsequently, like there are other uh, comics that sprung up that have sort of like derived off of that idea of um, Tahu and the Chosen Ones and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Excellent. Now, throughout your run on the on. BZ Power, you gathered a lot of guest stars into your series and incorporated them. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, Where did the idea to continually incorporate guest stars here and there come from? Because it's not a very common practice to continuously take in guest stars and use them throughout a series. Um, again, I think I probably got that. Like, I, 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 Before uh, The Rise and Fall of the Toe, I really didn't have any exposure to webcomics. Like that, that was the thing that just linked me into everything. So, uh, and in retrospect, it's probably something that if I go back and do it again, I probably would not do as many guest stars because <laughs> it became it, it, like okay. So there, there are a couple of issues with with the way I went about setting the comics. One was I never ever had like a plot in mind when I went when I started doing it. Mm-hmm. I just like just week to week was just like okay. What am I gonna do? Like, what? Hey, I had this plot point from a while back. Like, how can I? Maybe I could use that. Maybe not. Like, I just I, I had no idea what I was doing for the most part. And guest stars just sort of evolved to like this thing, like just to think this thing that could give me ideas. And I started to rely on that a little too much, I think, and to the point where I just like I sort of felt this pressure to like just keep doing that almost every week, and I couldn't keep up. And yeah, so if I if I had to do it over again, I'd probably just I'd limit that. All uh, right. I'd limit that and then come up with a good original story of my own. Probably. <laughs> okay. Two big things have changed. Yeah. Now, the last comic you released was in 2007, and after that, the series. I just, yeah, I, yeah. I just stopped. I did. I, I, I just. I was just like. It was it was already iffy up to that point. Like at that point, I I like I like started to do like short bursts of like one or two comics, and then disappear for like months at a time, mm-hmm. which was really just sad. Like I, I should not like that. That was really 
a, a dumb thing for me to do. But it, it was a result of that thing of like not having a plan and just like I didn't know what to do with it. And frankly, like, I, I just sort of almost stopped enjoying it. And when you stop enjoying a hobby, it just becomes work. Mm. And and it's, it's, and so I, I, just, I just felt like I, I didn't. I guess it just didn't feel like I should keep dragging it on. So I just, I just decided to. I, I just got distracted just to start doing other stuff. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's real, like I said, it, it's sad. I should not. I should not. I should have done. I, I, would, I would done a lot of things differently if I, uh, you know, I, but I, if I got if I go back and do a lot of things differently. That, yeah. And the, the ending would be one of them. I would probably end the series at some point, mm-hmm. logically. Yeah. Now, after you left, BZ Power went down almost for the entirety of a year, and the forms very recently came up, back up. Um, have you been to the new forms since that? Uh, I know they have a new software, but besides that, I don't really know much about it at all. Right. I, 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 I've, I've, not, I've, not, I've not visited the, the forums, really. All right. I, I've not been an active part of the, of the BC Power community. Let's just put it that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, concerning a lot of the themes that you went with throughout the series, because while you did take a lot from the Chili God, there are also things somewhat original to you where where did you get the inspiration for those um day-to-day life <laughs> I, I don't know i, I really I, I i i mean all sorts of different things probably like you'd have to name one specifically if you had any backstory on it because like it's again it's been five years since mm-hmm. i since i ended it and it's been i don't know how many years since i started it no yeah. So, um, to my knowledge, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, the Toa Mata, or at least the Liwa and the Nua, getting their uh, special masks. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah that, again, that's something I just did early on, is, like, I love doing pixel art. Like, that, that is something that I really liked doing. Uh, just, like, it's very detailed, minutia mm-hmm. thing. Where you, 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 like, and when I first saw the reg, uh, sprite kit, I was just like, oh, I'm in love. Because, like, that's what it was. It was like these, it was all these, just these characters made of these very of these pixels, but in, then in so in such a way that you could easily go in and like modify them without, yeah, uh, sort of compromising it. And so, like every single comic I've, I've made, uh, personally, was done using MS Paint from Windows XP, <laughs> with occasionally using Microsoft Word for the this gradients. That you see in some comics, like the action sequences and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it's it all. I think the first like three years that I did it, like I just, I, I didn't know how to like recolor sprites, like by like replacing colors in MS Paint. So I just did, I literally did it pixel by pixel, oh. which was incredibly tedious. Oh but, yes, yeah. Uh, but I just, I, I, I you know, I, I liked it. I, like I enjoyed doing that, and that's why I kept, I did it for over many years. Mm-hmm. No. All right. Now, quickly going back to the guest star thing, um, there were a few guest stars that kind of stuck out, uh, specifically Vaki Commander and uh, Fury. Were they originally, did they ask the guest star, or were you friends with them prior to that? Vaki. Okay, I feel bad now, because I don't remember who Vaki Commander is in the comic, <laughs> much less in real life. So. Uh, totally green Kakama, green Kakama. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that guy at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm looking at him now. Uh, no, like, I don't know who Vaki Commander is in real life. Like, I just, these characters, like, like I got submitted sprite sheets, or not, not sprite sheets, sprite sheets like, these guys gave me, like, slight descriptions, and I just went with it and did whatever I felt like, like these guys could do. You know, try and incorporate their chosen ship into it some way. Like that was that was a fun thing to do. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, Fieri, like after I put him in the comic, like he started like he started conversing a bit, and that I mean, that eventually led to him like taking over the comic for a month while I was uh, on vacation, which he did a pretty good job of, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. As good a job as I did, at least. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, he later went on to make um, Legends of the Matorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. 
All right. Um, if you could go back, and you mentioned this a few times, and start the comics over, if there had to be literally just one very, very solid thing that defined your comics that you would keep the same, what would it be? That, that, that's, that's a really tough question. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I guess the art style, maybe? like I, I don't know. I like, like I said, I love doing the uh, the pixel art thing. So I, I don't think I could ever like diverge away from that. But mm-hmm. like, I, I, it's it's really hard to say. What to keep this like? There's there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in there. No. Uh, yeah, like the I guess just just doing pixel art would be great. All right. Excellent. Now, very quickly, diverging. Di- ah, sorry. Focusing on something completely sort of different. The comics around at the time you started, what were the ones you remember being the most prominent and you've seen around the forums? Seeing around the forums. Uh, you're talking about like the, I think the first 50 or like the first 25 or what? Uh, like other comic makers, comic series like uh, The Chile God. Oh, yeah, like, like, yeah. like, like Trafot was this. I remember Traffon, I remember like Dark Seven or Nine's comics was being was just incredibly popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think those those ones are good. I remember some less popular ones that I just I I, I read just because uh, there were some friends of mine who did them. Like I think uh, Super Nathan Nuva did BZ Power Wars for a little while and then that stopped. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know I know there's like a couple I'm forgetting that I'm going to feel really bad about in a second, but. Again, it's just been so long. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, I, I wish I could do this interview, like, you know, a month after I stopped or something. Nah. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. All right. Uh, I know you haven't really seen the new comics in the form, but since the time where you started and shortly after you stopped, the comics form and the quality of comics recently has... A, widely improved it's become i want uh it's become just different how would you say would you honestly feel that the difference in art style nowadays mostly consisting of programs like gimp photoshop and some photorealistic comics would you enjoy seeing those more than seeing something kind of that kind of it's like nicer to see, like, the Chili Gods comics that were, you know, they were gra- kind of graphic on a higher graphical scale than, a, like, Dark Zone 9s when he began, but they were very classic. So, you, you, it doesn't really matter, like, what you use as long as you're enjoying it and you you keep it quality, the quality of, like, your writing and your art style is, is, is to you seems high, and, like, that's good. Like, I think the reason you're seeing so many of those, like, like you said, Photoshop and all this other stuff now is because the people who grew up with Bionicle are, are like, starting to grow up and they, they remember it and, and they, they, you know, they still love it. But now they have the skills to, like, really uh, uh, make what they love and make it, make it to a standard that they feel is acceptable. I think that's why you're seeing these, uh, like, all, 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 these, all these new, like, much more artistically detailed uh, things. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Um, now, personal preference, which do you like better, RAG 1.0 or 2.0? Oh, I knew this question was going to come up, and <laughs> it's, it's incredibly difficult to decide. Mm-hmm. Um, I, mean, I mean, it's, it's really depending on what, on, what, on what you're doing. Like, if, you're, if your comic is just about, to, about people having conversations, then you know, 1.0 is, is great and fantastic for that and just how detailed it is. Mm-hmm. And two point definitely fits the the uh, uh, what's it called the, just the, the action like if you if you want to have action scenes in your comic then go with that um, yeah I mean rank two is definitely it's e- it's easier to work with is, is what it is. if you if you're okay with just working have, having some uh, if you just want to like modify the sprites to just your heart's content then. It's, Reg 2.0 is way to go because it's, it's it's so basic that you can just add on like whatever you want to it really make it look cool. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. So yeah, I think between between 1.0, like I like this, I like the look 1.0, but in terms of, like actually making comics, I like 2.0 way better. 
right. He did it, he did a three point which was like hyper realistic, but oh, I don't know yeah. if he ever used that. Yeah, he also recently released well about as release uh, recent as could be a rag two point five. If you've seen that. Uh no I haven't. Oh, I it, I it's I see. partial mix between 2.0 and 3.0, because there's like four shades, but it is more akin to the kind I'm, of I'm bringing up online. I'm Googling it now. All right, yeah. Now, another, another question is, when you were making comics, you recolored them all by hand. Did yes. At, at any time later, did you ever figure out a better way to recolor them or discover the rag sprite maker by, I mean, I forget his name, but. Yeah, like, I, I, I understand, like, I, 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 I did, for, for, uh, for way too long a time, I did, I just, like, pixel, I went by through pixel by pixel for each thing. Until I found out the way you can do it in MS Paint where you just select something and then, like, copy it, change the background color, and then paste it back in and you can like overlay just colors a lot of other colors which is way easier and I said I wish I'd known about this you know yeah when I was recoloring each Toa sprite sheet individually for guest stars which was just oh, <laughs> I cannot imagine how tedious that was but it, it really I'm looking, I'm looking at the sprite I'm, I'm looking at the 2.5 sprite sheet right now I do remember it I just I don't remember anybody using it yeah people use it rarely nowadays but people generally use RAG very, very rarely nowadays. Um, only being about two or three nowadays that use it. What, what's popular? These, what, what, what do people use these days? Like, uh, I, I get out of, I'm out of the loop. Mostly RZ and Chimero Omega. People mostly use that. <laughs> if I may, mostly Chimero. Yes. Oh, um, hey, Venom. Yes, this is Venom. He is a, a fellow comic maker. He uses RZ with his comics. Hey, Cyber K, and how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm not making comics anymore, obviously, but I'm doing okay. I think I, I have think to talk I, to you. I think LJ is intimidating him. I hope not. What? <laughs> what? what? Oh, uh, she she I, I she says that I'm uh, apparently I'm intimidating to someone. Like, like who me? No, you're fine. Oh. That's, that's, that's no deal at all. In which case, someone's going to die very soon after this interview is over. I I didn't hear intimidating. I I heard something else, but that's. Yeah yeah yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <sighs> so before this, I didn't know any of you guys <laughs> at all. Like, yep. like, like, what, 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 how did you, like how did you guys find uh, like like, bio, like bionicle stuff like, like how I'd, I'd, I'd like to tell a grand story of how I found bionicle filled with like meaning and truth but you know I really just went to McDonald's one day <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> discovered bionicle through the promotion that they had in 2001 so you know I managed to collect all of those but it was very hard oh mm-hmm. yeah me too but you know I, I pretty much just went out to Walmart slash Toys R Us, I can't remember which one day, and just saw Tahu and was like, oh my god, look, a cool toy, and bought it, and then... That's, that was sort Ten of years later, here we are! Toys. Yeah, like I went to the Canadian Superstore, and they had, like, Lua or Tahu, I'm like, oh, the green one, because that Lua, looks cool. Yes. It's only $10. Lua, Lua, like, yeah, Lua. Yep, yep. yeah, Lua. Yep. And then, yeah, I, I, there we had a local toy store, and... I just saw that and was like, wow, that looks awesome. Picked it up. And then, and then similar to you, it was the it has picture a story. Back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gears. But yeah, yeah, similar Gears to you, it was the fiction and the story that hooked me in for the long run because that's what differentiated it from other yeah. things. So you guys are all here. You got, so everybody here was like on board in 2001 or whatever. I was on board yeah. with Bionicle in 2001, but I didn't discover BZ Power until seven years later. Basically, Which is kind of interesting. Basically, Pretty. everyone here but me was here since the beginning, I think. Actually, did you, what did you see? The, the ironic thing is that LJ is the most into the toys and the lore out of any of us, and yet he's actually been here the shortest time out of all of us. No, no, I can At see least. That. Right. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> actually you become I got into it. 
I got into it like um, mostly around 2003 when my mm-hmm. mommy bought me the, <laughs> one of the rock sheets. <laughs> she bought me Layrax, and I looked at it. And I'm like, a Bionicle? What's a Bionicle? <laughs> then I went on the internet. And I learned about it, and then my mommy bought me some more Bionicle things. Oh my man, no even him. Really? And I, hope, I, I, I hope you realize this is being recorded, Venom. You will never live this down. Nope. And I'm not <laughs> editing this out. Very. <laughs> I don't know why you would. This is great radio. This, this, is, this, is, this is quality stuff right here. This, 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 we are the most professional people you will ever find on the internet. Not really, but who, who cares? We're, yeah. we're, we're just awesome. You can't we're less professional, but more awesome. Yeah. We're the funny podcast. We add humor Basically. to seriousness. Making it I kind of started dropping my interest in Lanical, like around... Uh, like I, like I really started dropping after the Metro Nui Sega. Mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> because like to me, it just it just it became apparent that they just wanted to release a, a new set of like however many every year. Just it it because it, it, it shattered like this illusion of, like this illusion of disbelief they had. I think where... that Metro Nui was the drop off point for a lot of people, for various reasons. Yeah. And then came O six. Yeah, like again, well, like, this is like. I, I stopped. Was it was Metro, Metro New was 04, wasn't it? Jeez, that was long ago. I thought it was 06 <laughs> for, for a while. Hmm. Uh, uh, you want yeah. to get into that, but, yeah. I recently went back and I looked at, I looked at the website, and, like, they had some, like, movies where, where some guy was narrating what was happening. And it's, <laughs> it's not at all the same thing as what I remember. <laughs> yep. Like, it's like, it's like, there's a giant robot body, and I'm like, wait, what? Yep. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the thing is, I just, there's so much mystery in, in the first in the first couple of years. So I'm just like that was really what, what threw me for a loop. Was like this is intelligent and amazing, and I want to know more. And then I have all the sets because you know that's that's how it works. I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's kind of interesting to see you know everybody kind of starts off with the sets but then they branch out into so many different things like you know obviously the majority of the people here at the time are comic makers i don't know what meso's really into because he does everything but i i mostly do all the fan fiction and stuff but what it's you nice. the movies the movies were great really in, I, I, in, I, I, in, I didn't in, think so in a nerdy sort of way, they were great. As yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't mind them. I liked. Yeah, I I didn't like, mind them. I liked them less than other things, but you know. It's it's, it's sort of like like what, I, the thing is I never envisioned uh, like Lou was always my favorite because he's green and he had that awesome mask and the axe and everything. And and then he but had an Irish they, was, accent. Yeah, when they started giving him like like I, I would just have to remember him not using tree speak. In the in the first the first couple of years, and then all of a sudden there's like this switch where he was using it all of a sudden. And yeah. That voice actor, I didn't like that voice actor either, and that was, I was upset. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, they 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 definitely weren't the worst, best they could have been, but you know it's still kind of kind of nice to be able to say yeah our 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 fandom got movies, we we got <laughs> movies for our toy line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it they, they're not even the toys. Like, they, like they they redid all the models and everything. And like, even though like they already had the models in those promotional shots for the original yeah. guys, which I thought were amazing. Like, I love those those little like sixty second clips of where like well, it was like shows the guy doing something cool and then like cuts the yeah. mask and it says you know whatever the guy's name. But it was like it was like yay we have all these promotional videos and they're great and everybody loves them. But we're making a movie and these aren't up to par, so we're gonna make ones that you know, aren't necessarily as great and use them in our movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think there's definitely, there's a definite shift to where sort of like marketing took over, uh, like over, I, guess, yeah. I think, I think in my, in my eyes anyway. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Um, not, to bring, and not, to bring, not to bring the conversation down or anything. But, you know, yeah, no, no. Radical. Um, hey. uh, actually, very quickly, that uh, brings up another question. Sin, what was your reaction to finding out Bionicle had been uh, cancelled, effectively? A surprise, I think. 
like a, I, 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 I think they found out found out in like 2009. Like I, I'd been I'd been not, I'd been following the series for a couple of years, and then I just saw some random blog post somebody made where like apparently, you know, they're canceling this after 10 years because I think it's sort of had its run. I'm like, well, that's surprising. I remember a quote from uh, and Greg saying that like they had 20 years of fiction planned out in 2005 or whatever. I thought, well, it's hmm. like going to go forever because you know, if you have fiction, the, you know, they, they can follow, follow it. They know as the quality of the fiction, so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, like that, it's a surprise. I'm like, well, I, 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 was, re, I was really sort of a surprise, but also at the same time indifferent because I, I wasn't incredibly invested like I used to be. Well, it's kind of interesting, and, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but as, as it turns out, and we later learned, what was it, like two years ago, last year, or something like that, they actually had planned for the whole Matanui robot reveal. The entire line was only supposed to last the one year. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then when they brought Greg in, it was, uh, you know, you can take this so much farther, and then we got our 10 years out of it. Yep. But. Who wrote the first line of comics? Was that Greg, or was that somebody else? Um, that was actually, wait, the comics? The comics was yep. Greg, but the books were uh, Kathy Hopka. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, but Greg did later ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah but Greg did start well, I still off. Have, I have like I have like two dozen of those somewhere. I should, I should reread them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. Uh, probably a couple other things. What's your favorite year, of Bionicle? Oh one, no question. Mm. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Oh yeah. Year's two. Yeah, those, those are the best. Oh, I, I liked O2, like, I guess 2002, just because it was different, but in a way that didn't, like, uh, rewrite fiction. Like, it just in, introduced this new element into the universe that was, that it, it made sense, and it was cool and interesting. Like, the Borok, or, or oh, I like that. And the cow sort of in an evolution, but I, I don't know. I didn't like the Nuva. That always felt forced to me that the, that the Toa Nuva, the, when they when they initiated the Toa Nuva, like this didn't. I, I already thought like these guys had all the mastery over the elements, and I wasn't really sure why they had to they had to get an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Also, the yeah. masks were not as cool. Yeah, the Nuva were not particularly my favorite incarnation of them. Yeah. So, all right. Um, that's my least, that's, I'm gonna say that that's my least favorite. The, the O3 was my problem, like, like that, or not O3, but the, like, the Nuva incarnation was my least favorite year of Bionicle. Yeah. Just to answer your question. Yeah. I like O1. O1 is great. I love O1. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. Probably we'll have to wrap it up very soon. So probably two more questions. Uh, let me ask these guys. Guys, do you have any questions? At all. Doesn't matter off what the, it is. Off the top of my head, I really can't think of any that you haven't already asked. So that's good. Nah. <laughs> Very comprehensive. All right. I'm not sure Indeed. what you guys already asked. But I'm going to ask this anyway. Why is your name Cyber KN? Oh, come on. Um, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I know, and I know the answer to it. Uh, I was expecting I it to be one of those I forgot, but... No, 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 no. I, I, <laughs> so I, I, everything I, my, my island identity for everything is cyber game pretty much. So it's, I ah. it's not about it. Uh, I had to make a Lego account. I remember in for for their for their website. Uh, in, in, I don't know how I don't know, how, I, don't know what, I don't know what year it was. And. <laughs> I just, I, just, I just like that word like cyber like it's like this digital you know term or whatever and there's like there's this thing called uh also i was also into this the uh, connects stuff at the, at the time and they had this stuff called cyber connects and i'm like oh that's that's it's a cool name i like that and so i just you know stuck it took cyber and they stick my initials on the end of it and i had cyber can and that's it oh i see yeah i know it's trippy I, I actually uh, have it's one not, more it's question. Like but I don't stuck for a reason. For it. Uh, <laughs> all right, I have one more question to ask. <laughs> Feel free to Shoot. not answer. What are you gonna do next? 
Who said that? Uh, <laughs> I heard somebody else. Yeah. That, oh wow, Venom. LJ in the background and his oh my Matanui's. Uh. So, I'm I'm taking a course right now in um, game programming. Oh I'm, right. Yeah, I'm I'm, ma- I'm making games. I'm working on the game right now. I don't know if it'll ever be see the light of day, but hopefully it will. Um. I use the Reg 2.0 sprites to like make a little side scroller thing that I, I I was working on last summer. I haven't really touched that. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was doing 3D animation, and you guys saw some of that uh, on the forums before I left. Like mm-hmm. just some early stuff like that. I did more, but I didn't post it for some reason. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at my Toro right now. Like I fully rendered as a Kaku and, and everything. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did I did a year of like just pure three D animation because I, I was really enjoying that. But it turns out I'm not very I'm not a very incredibly artistically talented person, ironically. <laughs> and I ended up failing that course, and so now I'm doing like hardcore technical programming. Wow. For games, which is you know, I, I like games, and so that's what I'm doing. All right, that's cool. I'm actually gonna I'm actually thinking of uh, seeking some sort of career in that too one of my options yeah okay. i mean yeah it's, it's perfectly viable like and, and the industry is you know it's growing so oh yeah go for it like you think you can art or programming lots of sounds fun. good or design or like what, 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 what are you thinking probably i don't know any sort of branch in the in the gaming industry, actually, whether it be design or <clears throat> character modeling, concept art, cool. I'm into yes. all of that. Yeah, if you, so. you just yeah. I think mean, there's a lot of competition for the art side of it, but you, like so, mm. go, go do it. If you want to do it, go do it. Like maybe plan a little bit first, but you know, go do it. Yeah. Unlike what I did for Mass Gamer. <laughs> all right, sounds uh-huh. good. Excellent. Well, in that case, uh, the finishing question, and we ask this to basically everyone, what would your advice be to anyone who listens to this who maybe makes comics for making comics or anything else? I should probably say something really like deep and inspirational right now, but <laughs> I can't really think of anything other than what I've already iterated on, so I'll say it again. Come up with a good story. Like, it just, the jokes will come just, like, from wherever, so you don't really have to worry about, like, planning a whole story around a joke. And, like, just... And just only do it until it stops becoming fun, and then say it's, then say it's not fun, like, inform people. And, you know, and then bring, bring it to a conclusion that satisfies you. All right. I guess. Like that, that, that's what I would say to me, like, ten years ago. So, yeah. I'd say that's pretty good advice to the people. Ab- absolutely. That's excellent. And the five All right. listeners we have. <laughs> oh, we have a lot more than five. We have like 500 on YouTube. But, 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 but LJ, the last TTV viewer census came back yesterday. I mean, an hour ago when it only said talk? one. Do you want- uh, oh, that's a tough question. Um, I will make that happen. No, you guys like, have 5.5 5 listeners. Um, <laughs> five. All right. Well, How can we have 0.5? <laughs> because the it's like someone only listens to listener, listener, There's a joke in there somewhere, but we're too dumb to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inside right. Actually, I think I was going to say. We are. I think I was going to say because I only listen to half of the episodes. <laughs> Total non-kids. Wow, yeah. Take <laughs> your spotlight, of course. Yeah, no. Nah, eh. But anyway, uh, uh, I'm, glad, hmm? I'm certainly glad none of you asked how uh, the name Ask It Humor came about, because that I don't remember <laughs> at all. Ask it, ask it, ask it. No, we already asked the final question. But hey, Jay, the Look final question. <laughs> all right, I'll keep on lookout. But in the meantime, that's, that's, um. Cybercan, thank you so much for taking the time to do this with us. Uh, we really appreciate it, and wish you well in your future endeavors. It means oh, a lot. Thanks. Nope. I enjoyed it. All right, excellent. Well, um, that about wraps it up. I'm LJ. I'm Messenac. I'm Ellie. 
Uh, I guess that's my cue, isn't it? I'm Kitty. I'm Sir Rickan. I'm Venom. And this <laughs> has been the TTV Comic Maker interview. We'll talk to you all later. Goodbye. Good day. <laughs>